Hello, sports fans. This is the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Dakari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker, your source for the sports betting industry 24-7. Sit back, relax, and listen as Mr. Bookmaker highlights what's happening right now in the world of sports. So, without further ado, here's your host, Art F. Dakari. Hey, what's up, sports fans? Welcome back to another edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. I'm your host, Art Eftikari. Really glad that you can join us. And before we get things rolling, get to our website. You know the address, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. We got the links to all the best European, Asian, and United States-friendly bookmaker sites. And our bookmaker guide is available for you to download. So hurry up and download it. We want you to become an expert on this entire online sports betting process. Now, to get things started off, you know the routine, it's time for our A to Z sports betting lingo. Now, what is our word or concept for today? It is French odds. Now, let me explain the French odds. It is a expression, excuse me. It is the expression of odds basically as decimals. Let's say 17.66 as opposed to 100 to 6 or even, you know, 13.50 instead of 100 to 8, etc. Anyways, This name goes back to the days when the French had a metric money system while United Kingdom still used one pound of 240 old pence. So you're getting a lesson here, of course, on placing bets and gambling and also even a history lesson. So don't forget that. French odds. Next thing, make sure you check out our blogs that are available. You can check out the Mr. Bookmaker football blog or soccer, depending on where you are in the world. And also make sure you check out Dan's cricket blog and Patrick's American sports blog. Dan and Patrick are working hard. Show them some support and check out their blogs. All right, now to get things started off here, the FA Cup is not very far away. And for today's edition of the Bookmaker Podcast, I'm in the mood to check out a lot of the special bets that are available from one of my favorite online bookies, that is Ladbrokes. The address is www.ladbrokes.com. Now let's check out some of these specials involving the FA Cup. Now the first one, this is called a Chelsea special. So you have two things that need to happen. Look for the hashtag get a price. The odds here are 28 to 1 for Chelsea to win the FA Cup and to finish in the top four of the English Premier League. Next, while we're still on the topic of the FA Cup, this one here is called the Victor Moses FA Cup Special. Now, currently the odds are 33-1 to for Victor Moses of Chelsea to score the winning goal in the FA Cup Final. And, you know, lots of times I think these are interesting wagers to take because in the final game of a tournament, you never know which player is going to be the hero. You never know which player is going to score that crucial clutch goal. So this is one worth actually looking at. Victor Moses, of course, has been a member of Chelsea since 2012, but during that time, he has had spells on loan with Liverpool, Stoke City, and West Ham United. But like I said, let's see what he can do. I think you should check this one out as soon as you can. Now, as you all know, for those of you who pay attention to the EPL, the English Premier League, and of course, if you are a fan of Arsenal, Well, let's just put this in simple English. If you have been paying attention to the English Premier League for a long time, you know the news that Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger is finally going to retire from Arsenal. And the interesting thing here is, I remember even writing a blog about this a few weeks back saying that it was time for Wenger to leave. You know, there was speculation that Wenger was going to get the sack. You know, there are even many Arsenal fans that felt that it was time to move on from Arsene Wenger. But anyways, he has left a lasting legacy with Arsenal, and, you know, he's been, he was there so long. Anyways, for this special bet here, this is called the Arsene Wenger Special. The odds are 250 to 1 for Arsenal to win every single game until Arsene Wenger leaves. And this includes Europa League. So that means win the rest of the games in the English Premier League, and of course win the rest of the games in the Europa League. You know, this would be a really good way for Arsene Wenger to go out as manager of Arsenal 
I think you should give this one a shot. Once again, those odds are 250 to 1. Look for the hashtag get a price. And before we continue, make sure you get to our website as soon as you can, bookmakerinfo.com. That's www.bookmaker-info.com. Don't forget, we got the links to all the best European, Asian, and United States friendly bookmaker sites. And we got tips on how to register, bet, and withdraw. The bottom line is, we're here to help, so get to our website as soon as you can. Okay, picking up from where we left off. Obviously, Arsene Wenger leaving Arsenal is basically one of the top stories, one of the top headlines. Now, with that, the next subject that comes into place is who will replace Arsene Wenger as manager of Arsenal? There's going to be a lot of names floating around from now until that moment when Arsenal hires its new manager. So here's the first one. I'm calling this... Well, actually, I'm not calling it anything. This is what Labbrokes is calling it. It is the Craig Bellamy Special. Now, the odds currently are 100 to 1 for Craig Bellamy to be the next manager of Arsenal. Now, this, in my opinion, I consider to be a long shot. I mean, Craig Bellamy currently is working as a Sky Sports pundit. Now, I'm sure many people remember him playing in the English Premier League for a long time. I mean, Craig Bellamy was around the game for a long time, but... He's only 38 years old. You know, he will be 39 in July. You know, during his career, he played for Norwich City, Coventry City, Newcastle. He was on loan once to Celtic. He's played for Blackburn, even Liverpool, West Ham United. As I mentioned, of course, Manchester City. He even had two spells with Cardiff City as well. And also, he was a longtime member of the Welsh national team. So when looking at this special bet here, you never know. It might be one worth taking, but... It's hard for me to see the powers that be from Arsenal, you know, giving the job, giving this managing position to Craig Bellamy. Now, if you really want some interesting wagers, how about the next Arsenal special? This one's called the Pep Guardiola Arsenal special, and the odds currently are 80 to 1 for Pep Guardiola to be the next manager of Arsenal. Now, this one, of course, sounds interesting, and as you all know, Pep Guardiola had a very successful career playing for Barcelona. He also played for the national team of Spain from 1992 to 2001. And of course, he managed Barcelona. He also managed Bayern Munich, and now he's currently the manager of Manchester City. So he has a lot of success as a player and of course, as a manager. So this sounds like an interesting one. Do you think it would be a good idea for Arsenal to hire Pep Guardiola? Or if anything, is Pep Guardiola willing to leave Manchester City? So like I said, pay attention to that one. Look for the hashtag, get a price. Okay, everyone, shifting gears a little bit. When I say shifting gears a little bit, it means I'm actually still at Ladbrokes. You know the address, www.ladbrokes.com. Now the next special I'm focusing on here is the Livingston special. Now the odds here are 4 to 1 for Scottish club Livingston to be promoted to the Scottish Premiership via the playoffs. So will Livingston get promoted by going the playoff route? Obviously, that'd be their only choice right now. They're doing pretty good in the standings. They're currently second in the Scottish Championship table. And last year, they finished first in Scottish League One. So this is an interesting one. You know, can Livingston get that double promotion? And when looking at their roster... You know, I was really impressed to see that their goalkeeper is Neil Alexander, and he is 40 years old, still going strong. I remember him years back when he played for my favorite team, Cardiff City. So like I said, I know shifting gears a bit, talking about FA Cup, talking about who will be the next manager for Arsenal, then to Scottish football. But what can I say? I think it's good to talk about Scottish football, especially when you're not talking about Celtic or Rangers, because we all know... The Scottish Premiership is not very exciting. It's always Celtics League, no matter what. And as we're getting ready to wrap up this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast, one more special bet. Yes, I'm still at Ladbrokes, and this one is the Giovanni Lo Celso World Cup Special. And the odds are 125 to 1 for Giovanni Lo Celso to finish as top scorer in the 2018 World Cup. Now, Giovanni Lo Celso is a midfielder from Argentina, and he plays for Paris Saint-Germain. He's only made four appearances for the Argentine national team. 
So naturally, I find this to be a very, very interesting wager. So for those of you risk takers out there, maybe you'll have some fun with this one. Get to Ladbrokes. The odds are available in different formats, whether it's fractional or even French odds. Decimal, you know what I mean. Okay, everybody, and that is it for this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate the support. Like I said before, check out the Mr. Bookmaker football blog and also check out Dan's cricket blog and Patrick's American sports blog. We're all working hard, so show us some support. Don't forget to download our Bookmaker Guide. It is there to help you. Thank you, everybody, for listening to this edition of the Bookmaker Podcast. We'll see you next time. This has been the Bookmaker Podcast with Art F. Dakari, a.k.a. Mr. Bookmaker. Thanks for listening. If you haven't already, please show some love by subscribing to this podcast on iTunes or Stitcher. Till next time, this is Mr. Bookmaker over and out.